Yo, Elliot, I'm 31 years old and I've been in a relationship for 11 years. My lady and I have had ups and downs, a couple breakups, as you can imagine, navigating through our 20s. I've always been the one who wants to leave and it's happening again. I don't find her attractive like I did. We have sex once a month, sometimes more. Her mom passed away last September and prior to that, I wanted to leave her, but could not leave her in time of crisis. I love her very much, but I feel like we are best friends instead of lovers. She cooks, cleans. We have similar political and spiritual ideas. She's a good person. I just don't have the passion anymore. I've tried to make it work for years. Suck it up and be a man. Should I move on? Let me know if you need more info. No, I don't need any more info. Uh, I'm going to try to be nice. In every way, shape, or form, this woman seems to be a wife. You've been boning this woman for 11 years and haven't made her your wife. You're bored with the sex, but sex is cheap. My opinion, I'll be short with you. Make a baby with her and start raising a family. What do you want? More entertainment, right? You're 31 years old. You've been stringing this woman along for 11 years. What are you waiting for? You're waiting to have emotional love? You're waiting to have ecstatic sex? You say that you don't find her attractive like you once did, but that's because you squeezed all the juice out and now you want to discard the fruit. You need to say, imagine taking like an orange, right? Or, or, or you know when you take that lemon and you, and you grind it down on that thing, you get all the juice out? You squeezed all the juice out this poor woman, this woman that would make a good wife. You squeeze all the juice out of her. You got all the juice. Now you're like, oh, man, I'm left with this. And you throw it away. That's diabolical. You took her best years. If y'all are the same age, have you ever heard it this way? This is amazing. This is super important. This is something all men need to hear. And women. A woman, a good, a good relationship between a man and a woman is where a woman gives her best years to a man. You don't find her attractive like you did because you started boning her when you were 21 years old. Now you're 31. You must have been 20 years old. She's 31 now. She's past the wall. She gave you her best years. And a man gives, in return, gives her his best years. You're 31. You're reaching your peak. She gave you your best, her best years. You squeezed the juice out of that girl. And now that you're approaching your best years, you want to discard? I think in every way, shape, or form, that would be a mistake. A mistake in every way. For her, for you, for your soul, for your body, for your legacy, what do you want in your life? If you're not planning on marrying this woman and making a family, then you should just, just be honest with her, which you should have been a long time ago. You say you tried to break over her before. Be honest with her, and then... Get your shit right. Decide what you're doing. Are you looking for entertainment? That's what it sounds like you want. I want a girl that's going to give me good sex and good feelings. That's effeminate. I want a good wife. That's it. You're having sex. That's good enough, right? What else? It's an itch. Sex is an itch that needs to be scratched. Hell, it is. Right? And I don't know. I don't know about you guys. But I can't help to feel more bonded with my wife when I have sex because my body releases oxytocin. You're already one flesh with this woman. You're going to rip a, you're basically going to rip off a part of your body and throw it out into the street. And she's not going to have an easy time finding somebody else. What a shame that you took her best years and you throw it out into the streets to go and find somebody else. What a shame for you, too. You've invested 11 years. That's an investment. Remember before I was talking about men when it comes to sex? Oh, keep moving up because I lost my focus. There it is. When it comes to sex, we're giving someone something. You've given her 11 years worth of your essence, your seed, the most valuable thing that you had, except you're probably blowing it into a bag or on her back or something like that, right? You need to blow one right, right up inside her and start making babies. She... You say, you love her very much. You don't love her. You lying. You lying to me, you lying to her, or you lying to yourself. Because love is not feeling. Or let me, let me give you some grace. 
You just don't know any better. You don't love her. You are... How can I put this? If you love her, that means you will the good for her. You want what's best for her. That's what love is. Love is I want the best for you. But you took her best and I want to cast her away. You don't do that to somebody that you love. So rethink that one. Don't come to me with that BS. Rethink that one. Do you really love her? What is that? What's going on there with you? Because you don't cast somebody out into the street after sucking all their juice and say, I love you. All that BS. This is a woman's way of thinking, by the way. I'm getting kind of aggressive right here. And I don't mean to denigrate you. I don't even know you. I'm just talking. That's a woman's way of thinking. This is how women break up. I love you, but I'm not in love with you. That is the most diabolical, disoriented, degenerate, stupid stuff that I have ever heard in my life from a woman. Well, I never heard, but I hear women say, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. For a man to say that is even worse. I love her very much, but I feel like we're best friends instead of lovers. No, you're lovers. Your lovers are all right. She cooks, ching. She cleans, ching. Similar political, ching. Similar, similar spiritual, king. She's a good person, ing. But I don't have the passion anymore. That's your fault. Passion is cheap. Passion is garbage. Passion is effeminate. You don't need it. Forget the passion. Start using this. Will this woman make a good wife? Will she make a good mother? That's it. I've tried to make it work for years. I suck it up. No, you haven't tried to make it work for years. You have been squeezing her juice for years. Suck it up and be a man. I don't know what that means. But I do believe your question here is, should I move on? I gave you my opinion. I think it will be a mistake and I don't think you're going to find, I don't think you're going to find what you're looking for. In fact, no, let me, put, let me say this a different way. You're going to find exactly what you're looking for and it's not going to be what you think it is. That's my opinion. Then again, I don't know you and I don't know her. I'm just ranting based on an email. That's my opinion on that, dude. Done. Yo, are you ready to become a king in your life? If so, I'm looking for a few more guys that I can work closely with in order to help them dominate in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, then just go over to my Instagram account and DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. My team will get back to you with the details. If you're able to message me today, I can guarantee you that you'll be able to work closely with me. So DM me the word king on my Instagram and I'll get back to you with the details right away.